Hey guys, Emils here, and today I will be giving my first impressions of the Mirage F1 EE. So this is a more advanced model of the F1 CE, which we have had for a while now. The F1 EE was exported to Spain, and that's why the name is EE, for Espanol. It gets an inertial navigation system, or INS, an RWR, and an upgrade to the cockpit ergonomics. It also gets a new air-to-air -air missile, the S530F, also known as a Super Mantra. But the best part is the air-to-air -air refueling capabilities, with the newly added refueling probe. Now, it does lose 300 pounds of fuel carrying capabilities because of this, but being able to refuel in the air makes up for that. I personally was really waiting for this aircraft and excited to learn and share my experience with you guys. So if you would like to see that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future Mirage F1 content. All of this together makes this the best F1 Mirage variant yet. The pilot has better situational awareness and can prioritize threats better. The cockpit layout has changed as we can see. The, the weapons buttons have moved down closer to the back of the right panel and there's an added INS panel up here, as well as uh, this uh, navigation system. The flaps and gear indicator have moved down here to make space for the RWR up here and for better situational awareness. The external model was great and as always Arges has done a really good job on making it with great detail. So those are my first impressions of the Mirage. What do you think of the new model? Is there anything specific that you would like me to show you on the aircraft? Let me know in the comments below. Also, here's a cinematic video I made of the F1 CE, so if you're interested, go check that out. That's it for now, but I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!